Hello, welcome to India IDU Tutorials. We have just completed our series on probability. Today we are st starting a new concept which is permutation and combination. Permutation and combination as you can see is divided into two parts where order matters and secondly where order does not matter. Suppose you are having numbers say 7, 8 and 9 and in the second case you are having a tray of fruits which has apple, mango and banana. In the first case order of digit matters because if you say 7, 8, 9 it means 789 but if you say 9, 8, 7 it means 987. Thus it means that the arrangement or the order of digits matters. Whereas in the second case where we have placed fruits it does not matter how you place the fruits whether you put banana mango apple or you put apple mango and banana. So permutation and combination is divided into two parts. Where order matters we say that it is arrangement of things we are actually arranging the things. Where order does not matter we simply select the things. This arrangement of things is known as permutation and this selection of things where order does not matter is known as combination. In this class we would be discussing in detail on permutation. Let's discuss it. There are four types of permutation. First one is permutation with repetition. Second permutation without repetition. Third permutation of different kinds of objects. Last permutation of arranging objects in a circle. Let's discuss first one. Here permutation is with repetition. Suppose there are 13 balls and one need to pick up any 6 balls. Because this is with repetition so what we are doing is we are picking a ball and then again putting the ball. So our chances of picking the ball every time remains 13 into 13 into 13 into 13 into 13 and into 13. Or we can write it as 13 to the power 6. Here 13 is total number of balls and 6 represents the ball that we are picking up which gives us the formula of n to the power r where n is the total number of objects and r are the objects that we are picking or that we are acquiring. Second, here permutation without repetition. We will take the same example. There are 13 balls and we are picking 6 balls. In this case, we are not putting the ball back into the bag, which we get 13 balls in the first case. In the second time, we are left with 12, then 11, 10, 9, and 8. Thus, this becomes, this can also be written as factorial of n divided by factorial of n minus r, where n is total number of balls and r is balls to be picked up. Third part, here permutation of different kinds of objects. You are having 13 balls out of which some are black, some are white and say some are red. So formula of its permutation becomes factorial of n which represents 13 a here divided by factorial of n1 say black into factorial n2 say white into factorial of red say n3 last one as we know that factorial or permutation of calculating objects which are in a row is factorial n here in this case we are arranging objects in a circle so permutation of calculating objects in a circle becomes factorial of n minus 1 because that last point ends as a circle over here. Now let's discuss some examples. Our first example is in how many ways can a supermarket manager display five brands of cereals in three spaces on a shelf? This is clearly a question of permutation without repetition. So using our formula which is factorial n divided by factorial n minus r. Here n would be 5 because total brands are 5 and r would be 3 
as we need to accommodate these five brands in three spaces. Putting the values in the formula which is factorial 5 divided by factorial 5 minus 3, we get factorial 5 divided by factorial 2 which is expanding these we get 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 2 into 1 cancel them we get 5 into 4 20 20 into 3 60 is the answer let's take another example our next example is how many different number plates for cars can be made if each number plate contains four of the digits 0 to 9 followed by a letter A to Z assuming that no repetition of digits second repetition of digits is allowed in the first case which is no repetition of digits is allowed this is the case of permutation without repetition so our formula becomes factorial n divided by factorial n minus r into 26 this is the result of the number of digits whereas this is for alphabets now here n would be equal to 9 because total digits are 0 to 9 sorry it becomes a 10 and r becomes 4 because we need to choose only 4 digits out of these 10 Putting the values in formula, we get factorial 10 divided by factorial 10 minus 4 into 26, which is equal to factorial 10 upon factorial 6 into 26 equals to 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into factorial 6 upon factorial 6. Cancel factorial 6 into 26 solving this we get the answer as 131040 now second part in the second part it has been said repetition of digits is allowed so for repetition our formula is n to the power r into 26 because this result is followed by 26 alphabets now n is here 10 whereas r equals to 4 so we get 10 to the power 4 into 26 which becomes 10 1 2 3 into 26 equals to 26 and 4 0 as the answer easy let's have one more example the next example is in how many ways can five children be arranged in a circle? This is an example of fourth type of combination where number of things are arranged in a circle. This is very simple. The formula to calculate this type of arrangement is n minus 1. Here n is equal to 5. So it becomes 5 minus 1 which is equal to factorial 4. Expanding this we get 4 into 3 into 2 which is equal to 4 into 3, 12, 12 into 2, 24 as the answer. Let's have another example. Our next example is how many different permutations of the word mammal can be formed where same alphabets form one kind. This is an example of third type of permutation where different groups are formed. Here the word given to us is mammal. The formula for calculating this type of permutation is factorial n divided by factorial n1 into factorial n2 up to factorial n of k. Here the value of n is 6 which is equal to total alphabet. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Value of n1 which we take m is equal to 3 because 3m are given here. Similarly, value of n2 it would be a, which is 2, as 2a are given. Value of n3, that is l, is equal to 1. Now, putting all the values in our formula, we get factorial 6 divided by factorial of 3 into factorial 2 into factorial 1, which is equal to 
6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 divided by 3 into 2 into 2. Cancel 3 from 3, 2 from 2. This we get 2. That is 6 into 5, 30. 30 into 2 equals to 60. I hope you have understood the basic permutation. For more tutorials, you can log into IndiaEDU.com.